A version of the original Star Wars movie dubbed in the Ojibwe language was released to audiences last week across the Northland. For this week's In Focus, our reporter Matthew Freeman spoke with Anton Troyer, an Ojibwe professor at BSU, who did some of the voices for the characters in the dubbed version of Star Wars. In a galaxy not so far, far away, some theaters held a screening for one of the most iconic movies of all time in the original Star Wars. But this screening was certainly special for Ojibwe speakers, since this version was dubbed in the Ojibwe language thanks to the help of a local Bemidji man in Anton Troyer. Oh, this was a very fun project. This has been kind of a labor of love. We've been working for decades trying to revitalize and strengthen the Ojibwe language, building immersion schools, new books, teaching Ojibwe here at Bemidji State University and many other places too. My voice acting parts are fairly small. I'm the voice of the Death Star and some stormtroopers and things like that. Because the movie created original characters with unique names, translating the movie into Ojibwe had its challenges. Some things in Ojibwe just take longer to say, and we had to do lexical expansion work. You know, just even when they first made the movie Star Wars, lightsaber was a new English word, stormtrooper was a new English word, so they're, they're making all this stuff up. When asked what his favorite part of recording the voices for these characters were, Troyer had a difficult time just choosing one. My favorite part of voice acting, I really enjoyed the studio time when all the other actors were there working together. We could feel a sense of being connected to each other and to a big project that, you know, kind of reflects thoughts and values like the Rebels and whatever. Even though, of course, I was the voice of the Death Star and, you know, we almost blew up that second planet and destroyed all those rebel scum. Troyer's favorite part of the whole experience, though, was the feeling he got during the premiere of the movie, which gave him a new hope. I think also just being in the theater and seeing it come out and feeling and seeing our community members like feel pride, even if it was something they weren't personally involved in, like it, it was elevating for everybody. And so I, I think that felt really, really great. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's In Focus, I'm Matthew Freeman. May the force be with you. Troyer added that he hopes the popularity of the Ojibwe dubbed version of Star Wars will lead to more dubbings of iconic movies and for one day to film a major motion picture in the Ojibwe language. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.